Hey guys, this is Jess. So we managed to get hold of one unit of the G14 in Moonlight White. When ASOS ROG Zephyrus G14 was first introduced, I thought, man, this is just another gaming laptop. But when they showed this anime matrix LED light panel, I just have to give it a try. So let's get right into the specs. The ROG Zephyrus G14 pushed the boundaries of how a laptop should look like. There's nothing wrong with wanting to show off your laptop a little. Really on a conventional clamshell design, the ASUS infused the anime matrix LED panel to make the G14 set up the rest. It's essentially an LED panel that sits on the top half of the laptop. It would showcase whatever images or animations you throw at it is pretty cool as it's fully customizable. If you're worried about battery life, it's not full-fledged display, so don't worry, it won't take up much battery life. It's a subtle, low P flexing that would definitely catch the attention of others. Everything from the material choice to the build quality give the laptop so much more substance, so there's nothing to complain about the output of the g The laptop does have a little bit of weight to it, but I'm surprised that its weight only slightly above 1.5 kg. It is a good kind of weight that I'm willing to bear because it gives me reassurance that carrying an aesthetic machine doesn't compromise on performance or build quality. Connectivity wise, you will find a USB Type C 3.2 port and two USB Type A 3.2 on the left. On the opposite side, there's a power port, a full size HDMI port, and USB Type C 3.2 port and a 3.5 audio combo jack. And that costs a power port and USB Type C port for charging to move forward. For a laptop that looks so sleek, I wish ASUS had placed the charging port at the back so there will be cables jutting out from the middle of the laptop. The USB A ports are also placed on the right side, adding more mass to the area where your hands or gaming mouse needs to be. Why did the ablation bear the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 comes with 2K display with 60Hz refresh rate? The laptop was made for multimedia consumption, photo, or video editing. Then, by all means, go ahead. But the G14 is a multi laptop that is geared towards gaming, and that means the refresh rate is more important than the display resolution. And I will have forgo the 2K 60Hz display and opt for a full HD 120Hz because that will make more sense when it comes to gaming. With that out of the way, don't get me wrong. The ROG Zephyrus G14 supported each display is still fantastic to look at. It covers 100% of the sRGB power game mode and is painful to validate. Details are really sharp and its brightness level works great even under direct sunlight. The display could have been perfect, but it's a shame that it's bottlenecked by a 60Hz refresh rate. The ROG Zephyrus G14's keyboard might be one of the best laptop keyboards I've ever used. Everything is done right from the keystroke travel distance and the key size to the layout and position. Typing and gaming with the G14's keyboard is an absolute pleasure, no matter if you're at home or out and about. Asus made more space for the arrow cluster to not be squished and for the extra function keys to move upwards. But when it comes to keyboard backlighting, I was quite disappointed in the doesn't come with RGB. The trackpad on the G14 is wider, but it's also shorter. It's positioned more towards the right so my palm will sometimes get in the way. But the palm radiation looks great and the trackpad itself is truly smooth to navigate on. I have absolutely no complaints when it comes to the performance of this space because it works just as expected. That being said, all the bells and whistles are all great, but if you're gaming with this laptop, it could get uncomfortably hot. It heats up as fast as it cools down on the magnetic alloy chassis. So if you're gaming at home, you're better off using a keyboard and a mouse. When it comes to audio, the G14 speakers has great mids and high, but lacks the bass. Good thing is, there's no distortion whatsoever even at 100% volume. When it comes to gaming, vocals are clear and you hear every little game detail with the surround sound effect. When it comes to music listening on movies, vocals have great clarity as if the actor or actors is right in front of you. The G14 has a TDP of 35 watt working with the laptop's large 76 watt hour battery. On daily use, I was able to get about 8 hours and 30 minutes of use. This includes Spotify playing in the background, 
watching YouTube videos, article reading and writing, social media surfing, as well as some light photo editing on Photoshop. On our video playback room test, we looked a 1080p video until the battery dies and the G40 lasted around 9 hours and 57 minutes. In the box, you'll get two chargers. One is the usual charging brick and the other one is a USB Type-C fast charger. So you can leave the charging brick at home and bring the slightly smaller USB-C charger with you. Even if you forget the charger, as long as you have the right charger with the right voltage, you can charge the laptop too. The G14 breaks a barrier between form and function. Not only it looks good, it performs remarkably as well with a great overall user experience. Priced at 7699 the G14 packs not just a punch, but an uppercut to the competition. Being this multi livestock laptop, it caters to a wide range of audiences, from content creators to gamers, and even those in the corporate world if they want to show off a little bit. The ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 suits almost everyone, promising a reliable performance under its mad aesthetics. <laughs>